Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light and love and many blessings is yet to come for you. And thank you for the love and support that you came by to come see my channel. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video video and if you feel like you resonate with my video can please give me a big thumbs up and if you feel like you resonate with my video please go ahead and drop me a couple of lines I love to get the positive feedback and for my returning subs as always what's up fam thank you for the love and support and coming to see what I'm doing today and namaste and love and blessings and love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you and thank you for the support once again. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, the daily life of a Hayoka empath. Oh my goodness. See, I know I'm about to start talking about something. My nose start itching. It's crazy because anytime I start doing these videos, my nose starts itching. It's either something on my face or something like that. I don't know what it is. But anyway, today I'm listening to three hours of the best relaxing piano flute music ever. I'll go ahead and put that in the link down below. Um, Guys, I've been relaxing for the last few days. You know, I was just like, ever since that eclipse, I don't know what has been going on with me lately. Ever since those freaking eclipses has been happening for the last, I don't know, we had like about three or four. But it's just crazy. It's just really crazy. But I said I'm going to go ahead and um, make a video for that one to see if anybody had that uh, situation come on. But anyways, Life of a Heoka Empath is just really crazy. It's just like with us, Empaths is already, already out the box. <laughs> already as it is. You know, it's a very unique situation. It's just like some people think it's kind of cool to be an empath. But... In a way it is, but then it's a curse at the same freaking time. And it's just with us, hey, hey, Oka Empaths, we always do things the hard way. <laughs> the hard way. Instead of just, you know, letting sleep sleeping dogs lie, no, we have to go investigate. We have to do this. We have to do that. Hey, Oka Empaths just don't, you know, it, it, it's just dealing with stuff like that. It becomes frustrating. It becomes really frustrating because it's just like today I was, you know, just, I don't know, I'm getting ready to make, a, you know, come and make my video. And then all of a sudden this, this emotion had came up and it was like very confused, like doubtful or something. And I'm like, this ain't me. I said, I already know I love making my videos. So it's nothing about what I'm about to do. So I'm trying to figure out where the heck is this coming from? So it's just what hell the impasse is just like. You know, some people might think it's, you know, just the best thing in the world. I mean, if you look at it a positive aspect, yes, it is. But it's just on a daily routine with us. It's just like our emotions are all over the place sometimes. I know m mine are, you know, because it's just like I'm already dealing with mine and I could be okay. In the last couple of days, I've been okay. But it's just like since things have been, you know, it seems like things have been moving a lot faster lately. So it's just dealing with stuff like that and you're an empath and you're dealing with different emotions and it's just like, you know, if you go out and see something out in the street or, you know, even on social media, it gets to us. It really does get to us because it's just like with, I think with empaths, it's, it's still the same, but it's like with Hayoka empaths, it's more intensified. So it's just like we can't win for losing. <laughs> we cannot win for losing, but it's just like we always mean well, especially when it goes to our daily routine on dealing with different people. You know, it's just sometimes some people are hard to read and then sometimes they're, you know, they're, you know, especially if it's somebody negative or somebody that has some really bad juju going on, you can feel it like a caution sign coming up. And I don't know about you, but I tend to back up and just say, hey, how you doing? Okay, I don't have time. I'll talk to you later. Because I do not need that <laughs> kind of emotion attached to me. I really don't. So it's just like different day by day. It's just like with me, I'm so indoors. If I don't have to be out, I won't be out. And if, if I do... 
I get so antsy. And it's just like, even if I have to go to a doctor's appointment, I get very annoyed. It's just like when we had to go, you know, get some paperwork done. The other day I had to go get some paperwork done and you're talking about somebody was just getting annoyed. And I don't know why, but it's just like, I mean, I have, I haven't learned to have to have patience with things, but it has just become difficult, especially it's just like if you're around a lot of people that are aggravated <laughs> and it's just like, I feel it creeping up on me and I'm just like, where is this coming from? But I don't know what it is, but I need to hurry up and get up out of here. So it, it's just like really, I, I really just... <laughs> I really just try to figure it out because it's just like, you know, finding out all these different things about being a Hayoka and Path, and there's so many different things that we do. It's like, you know, when we, we go through past difficulties or any kind of trauma that's either current or past, you know, we will take the hard way of dealing with it and letting it go, you know, and it's just so, it, it, it's just like, why can't you just leave it alone? And it's just that there's something that you just had to keep going and keep going. So it, it's just like, I really don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> the situation is it, just like, you know, because I just found out about this a couple of months ago. So I was just like, when I'm finding out all the things about Hayoka and Paths, you know, like, we don't like injustice. We really don't. You know, it can really irk our nerves. And sometimes it can it can get to the point where it can get very out of hand. Sometimes it just depends on how your tolerance is for stuff like that. And, you know, we always go out our way to try to help people, especially when it seems like they're the underdog. And it's just like, especially if I see somebody just being picked on, I, I can't deal with it. You know, I'm just like, you know, especially when it comes to my, my, my girls when they were growing up, I was always at the first thing at school because they were always so tiny you know, for their age, so it was just like, where we're at in the South, it's like all the kids are like cornbread fed, as we say, so they're all bigger than her, so it's just like, you know, I was just like, oh my God, all of them are so much bigger than them, because it's just like my children, it's like if they were 13, they were like this height, and there's kids that are 13 up there, and you're just like, oh my gosh, so it, it was just like they constantly got picked on for something. So, you know, we just don't like doing stuff like that. So, we choose, like I said, we choose to, you know, handle things the long way. And if it, we feel like somebody, it, it just seems like when you're dealing, when you're an empath, you deal with some people that think they know everything and then we have to bring them <laughs> right back down to our circle. And I have no problem with doing that, especially if I feel like, you know, what, what's your point? You know, because especially we don't like somebody that's trying to go out their way to try to say something they really don't have anything truly to say. We're just like, okay, you know, <laughs> we don't really have that. You know, we don't really need to be talking. So, um, guys, I'm really not holding. I hope I'm not holding you guys up. So it's just like if you even had experience and you know you're a Hayoka empath, you know, please drop me a line. Let me know how it is when you're, you know, doing your day to day basis because it can get frustrating. But then. It's just like when you're by yourself, you get to know yourself a lot better. So it's just like there's there's a negative and a positive, but I try to focus more on the positive aspects of the situation. So I'm not trying to hold you up today, and I hope everybody's having a blessed weekend, and I hope you're, whatever you're doing, make sure you're doing it responsible. And I will talk to you on the next video. Peace and be wild. And please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell so you know when that I upload my video if the notification bell is actually working now. So, and if not, just drop me a line or even give me a big thumbs up. It would greatly be appreciated either way. Much love, peace, and be wild.